If you click the title, you're here to learn to pop shove it like this. Let's get after it. Let's take a look at a few rolling examples of the pop shove it so you guys can see how I'm doing it. I do recommend that you learn this trick with a slow roll as it will help you with momentum and getting the board rotated around. You'll notice my foot position is darn near close to an oral ollie. And I recommend you start this way and then tweak it to see what makes best sense for you. Nothing crazy on the front foot. Back foot is fully on the tail, not over the edge like a shove it. We're not scooping as much. We're popping down and then sliding back. Now, quick note to get a cleaner pop. I actually use the nose of my board. This is the only trick I do it with. I find if I use the tail, I have a soggy pop shove it. If I use the nose, I get a clean and crisp pop. So how do you actually do a pop shove it? Let's take a look at this in slow motion. Notice as I go to pop, I'm lifting my front foot straight up. Now also pay attention to my back foot and how my toe is flicking out and behind me. Then I'm lifting both feet up, specifically the back foot, being sure to bring it up and in front of me to catch the board and land right away. I'll give you guys a few POV here. I'm just holding the camera. And again, it's harder in my mind to do it standing still than it is moving. Biggest issue is not even trying. You're literally just kind of flicking it out and see what happens. Now following off of that, the second issue is you're half committing. You're just again, popping it and just kind of seeing what happens. Now this is more subtle, leaning too far forward. Now watch as I'm going to land my front foot has no chance of making on this board. Falling off of that, if you lean back too much, you can see that my, and back I mean my heel edge, watch my feet here as I go, you're gonna see my back foot has no chance of catching this board right here. Another major issue I have is leaning forward too far on your toe side edge, so when I land, I almost immediately wanna step off the board instead of being able to ride away. Uh, <laughs> guys no joke the wind was nuts that day uh this is pushing me uphill look how fast it's getting me going it's literally why i'm hiding behind the quarter pipe in more than half this video guys when you decide to commit good things happen just like this this is my third attempt the wind was so nuts i decided not to mess around with it and just go straight for the land and i got it that was actually the first time I've pop shoved it off a ramp. So that was awesome. I'm glad you guys are getting to see it. Let's try it off a box over here. After this sweet 50-50, let's check out some attempts of doing a pop shove off this box. This box is about two times the size of a normal curb, which I've never done. I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of scary for me. Gotta keep it real for you guys, I was terrified. But I'm glad that I pushed myself after landing off the ramp and came and tried this. It's the only way you're gonna progress. Now one potential issue I didn't mention before is the fact that you could land primo on these if you get a half kickflip rotation in there. If you do, check your back foot. You're either hanging your toes over the edge and scooping too much, or you're getting a little bit too much of the front foot action in there and you're kicking out. Again, the front foot needs to be lifting straight up and just getting out of the way. I'm not committing. All right, I'm trying to commit, getting close. First time I've ever done that off a box or a curb or anything. So as soon as I actually fully committed, landed. So guys, commit. I just went two for two on something I've never even tried until today. Guys, you can do it too. Again, it's just all about committing. Get out of your head. If you know you can do it on flat ground while moving, you can do it off that as well. All right, all my skaters, let's keep progressing together. I'm gonna keep giving you guys tips as I'm learning and going through things. You saw my progression today. I had two firsts going off the ramp and off a box with a pop shove it. Never done that, not even when I was a kid and I actually skated more. So guys, keep the progression going. What do you wanna learn next? So windy today, I think I'm gonna finally get my kickflips down. We'll see.